There we go, Square Enix. Yes, a game by Square Enix. You already know the game because it's up in the title thing. And there's helicopters carrying giant robots. And explosions. Every game has to have explosions and giant robots. That, uh, that just doesn't seem practical. And that seems really good. How much? Yeah, those things weigh as much as a tank. Probably more. I'd say twice as much, maybe. And the helicopter carries four of them. That's one really powerful helicopter. And there's a tank. Yeah, we're going to make mincemeat out of those a lot. Missiles. Yeah, I'll be deleting over the one, or er, taking down the video I put up with this one first, and I'll be putting this one up. That's still brutal and awesome every time I see it. It just is. I mean, it's never that effective or cool when you're actually playing the game, but yeah. Okay, tell us what the game is. Come on, title screen. Come on down. Front mission four. Press start button. I will. We'll just do a new game again. Yeah. This is my third time recording this beginning. Yeah. And another cutscene. Oh, joy of joys. Don't you just feel rapture? Yeah, I didn't think you did. Product Development Division 6. Come on. 2.47 a.m. Sachsen and Holt, Germany. And there's Franz. I don't know if his name is Franz, but I'm calling him Franz. Hi, Franz. Franz, you're in trouble. That gun that's pointing at is larger than my house. Front mission four. I love this music. And oh, more missiles. We're going to have a love-hate relationship with them in the future. We love to use them, hate to see them get us. Yeah. There's a couple million dollars worth of tanks just blown up. Ooh. They were saying things. And the mix in this game basically roller skate. When they feel like it. And they're dead. That chopper is going to be useless. Yep. And explode. There we go. Good little chopper. Now, we will use, or at least see, all of these parts and weapons in the game. We will be using them quite often. Except for those huge bombs that they just threw inside that one dome. We'll never get to see them use those. Oh, that sucks. They, well, you can one-hit kill with a sniper rifle, but it's got to be a really powerful sniper rifle and a really crappy monster you're firing against. Oh, he survived. They just changed that. Shield bash. And that's brutal. Yep, 
tanks are useless. That's the moral of this game. Tanks are useless. You wanna get into a tank? Don't bother. You guys will probably be hearing a little clicking noise. That's my controller. It's between me and the mic. So, just explaining. Let's see if I can read all of this in time. Again. Come on. Just bring it up. There we go. EC Armor Tactics Research Core Durandal. Come on, trumpet music. There we go. Lights are dimming. PowerPoint presentation. Since the end of the second Huffman conflict, Vonzers, giant humanoid armored vehicles, have quickly become the mainstay of all armies. But even now, Vonzer warfare is still in, er, still in its early stages of development. In 2096, the nations of the European community cooperatively founded a semi-military research organization for the sole purpose of developing and assessing Vonzer tactics for the EC's armies. This organization, based in the UK, is called the EC Armored Tactics Research Corps, aka Durandal.